So to start with IOC, the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO, the United Nations uh, Organization for Education, Science and Culture. Uh, IOC was established in 1960 at the, the UNESCO Intergovernmental Conference in Copenhagen, it was. And there the, the countries uh, agreed that uh, there was a need to, to better coordinate ocean re uh, research around the world and, and to work together as countries. So they established IOC at that time. Uh, so uh, to now we have 147 member states. And according to our statutes, we are uh, the only UN uh, body that specializes in ocean science, observations and services, data and information exchange, and capacity building. That's really our mandate. And we also are recognized under the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea as an international competent organization for marine scientific research and transfer from marine technology. Um, so the IEC vision is really we need strong scientific understanding and systematic observations of the, of the ocean to underpin sustainable development and global governance for healthy ocean, for global, regional, and national and management of risks and opportunities from the ocean. So really obser doing observations, doing data management, doing science is really the fundamental to better understand the ocean, to build the knowledge and to apply that knowledge. And talking about sustainable development, there's a very important development at the UN level, which is called the Sustainable Development Goals, which is the post-2015 agenda of the Millennium uh, Goals. And now we have a standalone goal for the ocean. Of, out of the 17 goals, we have goal 14, live below water, to conserve and sustainably use the ocean seas and marine resources for sustainable development. And one of the key documents was the blueprint and the future that we want which, uh, which IUC was very much enga engaged in. So that will be an important framework for, uh, for next year's 2020-2030. So the IUC Secretariat, uh, here we are in the project office in Ostend, the IUC project office for IUD, but the, uh, the headquarters is in Paris w within UNESCO. Uh, it's also the operational support unit and all, actually all the blue uh, uh, BARTs uh, are in Paris, so also the sections, you have the Ocean Science section, the Tsunami Unit, the Ocean Observation Services section, and the Marine, marine Policy and Regional Coordination section is all in Paris. And all the, the mm -hmm. blocks in yellow are actually decentralized offices. So you have, IU, have IUD here in Ostend, which also does, is responsible for capacity development. You have three regional uh, sub-commissions, one in the West Pacific, one for Car uh, Caribbean and one for Africa. And then you have a number of support offices for the tsunami unit, uh, for, uh, for goose, uh, for the ocean observations, and for the harmful algal blooms, and one in Copenhagen. So in total, there we are, IUC is uh, not so big. Uh, we have 40 staff members. Uh, the majority, though, is extra budgetary, project-based. Uh, here in, in, in Ostend, at the moment, we are nine people. Uh, there will be one more joining us, uh, hopefully, next month. So there, the, what is IUC doing? Uh, we have six functions in IUC, which is uh, doing the observation systems and data management, doing ocean research. Pro uh, uh, on that science and, and, and data, we, tried, we do... Uh, try to build early warning uh, systems and, and, and tools. We use that information to create information for policy and assessment and apply that knowledge for sustainable management and governance. And cutting across all the activities is capacity development. You need capacity development for everything to make sure that all member states are able to participate in the IOC global programs. Here I have tried to add all the logos of all the programs and, and, and projects that IUC is involved in, and it's quite a lot. So OBIS is actually just one of them as part of, of IUD program, but it really goes to ocean literacy, uh, observ observation system, data management, integrated coastal uh, research, uh, integrated coastal zone management, um, yeah, et cetera, up to engaging within policy uh, at the UN level. 
So IOD is one of the old is the, actually the oldest program in in IOC. It started in in 1961. IOD is International Ocean uh, Oceanographic Data and Information Exchange Program. So the member states early on recognize that uh, if you want countries to work together, well, the first thing that you need to do is to share the data and information amongst yourself, amongst the countries, and also use agreed international data standards to make it possible to integrate data. So that was really already recognized uh, from the early on, so they established an IOD program for that. So the IOD vision is a comprehensive and integrated ocean data information system serving the broad and diverse needs of IOC member states for both routine and scientific use. And since 2005, IUD got uh, its own project office here in Belgium with uh, substantial support from the Flanders government in Belgium. I tried to list a number of uh, projects uh, uh, that IUD program is implementing. So we've heard about Ocean Teacher before this morning. There's also Ocean Data Portal, Ocean Data Practices, Ocean Expert Database, Ocean Docs Database for Publications. We have OBIS, OBIS AMF Data, trying to get uh, uh, more than just pieces of currencies in OBIS. DIPS, development of information products and services. HEDAT for ARM from ALGI, ICANN, the International Coastal Atlas Network, and so on, uh, World Ocean Database, uh, Quality Management Framework, etc. So IUD is also the, the program that is uh, taking care of the National Oceanographic Data Centers Network at the moment. We have about 100 data centers in our network. Uh, so most of them are national oceanographic data centers. Others have jo recently joined IUD as an associated data unit, which is not recognized as a national data center, but they do our uh, data management and are important in terms of data management. So also the OBIS nodes in IUD are either NODCs or ADUs. An important project that recently started in IOD is the Ocean Knowledge Platform. It is actually trying to integrate all the, the information and data products uh, in IOD and to provide a central access point. So basically what it will look like is building a dashboard. When you enter a keyword or a country, for example, you get all the publications, the data sets, the capacity in that country, the, uh, the institutions, the experts, and the training courses. The services that are provided in that country, uh, maps, graphs, indicators, what are, the, what are the data systems, what are the observations being done in the country, how is the country involved in the activities of IOC, and we try to add some intelligence uh, to, the, to, the, to the portal, uh, providing uh, 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 links to experts with similar expertise data sets with, uh, which are similar to the ones you're, you've looked up. 